Hey guys, it's NeverSync. Today I'm gonna bring you somewhat of an advanced video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to adjust and create your optimized leveling loot filter. Now, if you're a new player or, a, well, let's put it a fairly casual passive exile player, um, you likely uh, don't need to watch this video. You can just use the default filter, the default leveling section. However, if you're an experienced player, a racer, or maybe you just wanna have some more customization power. I think you'll find this video very useful. However, we'll be using some advanced tricks, so you should have some general idea of how Pass of Exile, how leveling and racing Pass of Exile works, and you should have uh, worked or played around with Filter Blade once or twice. If you didn't, I recommend watching the general guide on Filter Blade that you can find in the video description. Now, leveling in Pass of Exile is somewhat tricky. There's tons of different builds, tons of different approaches, and everyone wants to see something different. It's also impossible for a filter to know what kind of equipment you have. That means that the general filter is somewhat designed to fit all groups. That also means that you'll see way more items that you would likely ever pick up. So creating a specific filter is actually very helpful, especially as a start of a new league. So, uh, we're gonna head to customize and scroll down to the leveling section. In the leveling section, we want to adjust several things. Let's start off with the item progression. The item progression is most likely our most important tool when it comes to attack based characters. Caster characters, well, guys who use scepters, wands, and uh, I guess, yeah, I guess, um, actually probably don't want to use the item progression but they can still disable the default progression. So what is an item progression? The idea is in Pass of Exile, you have different kind of tiers of an X of a um, shield of every item. So when you start leveling, you can find like corroded blades as a two-handed sword. In the end game, you find those uh, tiger swords, vow blades and similar two-handed weapons. But at every spot while leveling, there's one top tier weapon, at least it's a latest weapons that just appeared. So while leveling, often you just want to slap a alchemy or an essence or a transmute depending on your budget and depending on what your goal is onto some white item. So it's very handy to see the top available normal item of that type. This is exactly what the item progression does. Let's do it for claws. So just open item progression, then personal item progression and select the class you are interested in. So in our cases, we are gonna select Claws. Now, if you scroll down, you see exactly what type of claw is visible from what level to what level. Um, if you feel like you don't find enough claws and you want the claws to stick around a little bit longer, you can also add an overlap, but I feel like that's absolutely sufficient. That's actually all you need to create a claw progression. You can edit it a little bit, maybe you only wanna see normal quality items, so you can uh, slap an essence onto them. But uh, we also want to disable the normal progression, so the progression is general designed for all builds. Actually to visualize this, let's head to simulate. So let's set the item level to something like uh, 40. And you actually see this claw, that's an item progression claw, it has this red border. Can uh, also increase its size and give it a sound if you want to, or maybe make it stronger. Yeah, so now it's pretty easy to see. But now we still see those like other weapons that you're totally not interested in, right? So let's head back to customize and we're gonna open the default progression editor. Okay, so now that we're in the default progression editor, we don't wanna see all these items. So we have our weapon of choice. We can safely disable wands, daggers, scepters, staves, claws, bows, and probably two kind and one kind weapon in general. Uh, now you can keep around the helmets and gloves if you want to. I actually like to do this, but you can also disable them completely. Now it's much more cleaner already, right? But we are gonna go some steps further than that. So let's head back to customize. Actually, first let's see what other items don't we want to see. Right, so we see those uh, quivers, right? We don't want to use any quivers. So we're gonna head back to uh, item progression, we're gonna close this accordion and go to advanced fine-tune settings. Here you can disable all kinds of items you're not interested in. 
So let's check. Uh, we still want to see chromatic recipes usually. Let's say we don't want to see any large chromatic items while leveling. Uh, I recommend picking, well, keeping those things, the handpicked items. Those usually consist out of um, early rings and resistance rings, the most prominent things. But obviously you can change it if you want. Now, there's a quiver progression. We are not an archer, so we can just disable all of those items. Um, let's also scroll down a tiny bit. And there's also caster weapons. We are not a caster. We are not interested in those. Let's get rid of those. There we go. Let's switch back to simulate. Ah, much cleaner. But we still see a few items that we don't actually care about. To demonstrate, let's take a look on the rares. At the rares. Uh, as we see, we see a lot of things that we're likely not gonna pick up at all. Right. So even while leveling, uh, at some point you will likely find enough rares and usually you just want to rush through the content, you don't want to go back and sell every single item. Um, and it's very likely that those items won't be sellable. So we want to cut back a bit on the rares. We're going to do it this way. Head back to Customize and there's a section, Add Custom Show Hide Rules. Now this section is somewhat scary the first time you see it. But basically it allows you to add a new type of filtering into the filter. It's very very handy to remove or add a whole new section into the filter that uh, pre-filters a lot of things. It will also affect all the sections below. So we are totally not interested in two-handed swords and stuff. Especially past a certain level. So we're going to use the hide item by slot feature. And we're gonna select the items we are not gonna ever pick up. Now, this only applies while leveling, so until level 65. And we're gonna apply to 200 maces, 200 axes, uh, staves, 100 axes, 100 maces, uh, daggers, scepters, bows, 100 swords, wands, quivers, and 100 thrusting. There we go. So, quite a few weapons. Now, if you are using this feature, there are some other things to consider. First of all, um, up top is the strictness. If it's set on affects all gear, it will affect all gear while leveling, with the exception of uniques and six sockets and six links. Now, this is something you don't usually want to do, unless you don't want to care about chromatic recipes at all. So I recommend setting this to affects previous sections plus handpicked good rares. This will preserve your, oh, sorry, this will preserve your chromatic items. To demonstrate it, to find the logic behind it, head back to simulate. So we're gonna simulate some gear, and if you set it to effects or gear, then uh, generate some items until you find some civic chromatic. There we go, there's one. Now, if you hover over it, you um, see based on this filter entry, hides it fonts as class 13 entries. That's our entry. So, if you go to customize and switch it to the one below, you will see it again. Uh, it takes some trial and error here, here, but generally speaking, I just recommend you to switch back to customize and simulate and see how it affects your results. In the future, we are also going to add more advanced features to allow you to find the customization entry uh, from the simulation screen. Now, we are not done yet. Still, there are a few things to do. So, by setting it to this um, slot, we will hide all rarities and at all levels. It's not something you want to do. Um, actually, the all rarity is kind of fine. We don't want to see any rare items of those type. However, not at all levels. Especially during the early levels, you want those rares. You want to sell them for alterations. Maybe you still want to run with them. Uh, at the early levels, you are using a general weapon and you'll be just fine running with a one hand or two handed sword. So we're going to set it to item level above level 40. With this setting, we ensure that those items will be only hidden once we hit level 40. Obviously, you can set it to level 30 or something lower, and you can also add additional rules. So you can make something like a layer-based setup. Starting with level 30, you want to see those items, items. Starting with level 40, you want to see other items. Now, to contrast this hide items by slot, let's actually highlight 
rare claws, so we instantly know when to pick them up. So we're gonna use the highlight items by slot feature. And we're gonna set it to uh, affects all gear. Actually, this is something we care about. We wanna see this rule override um, chromatic rules, so you don't care if a claw, if it's rare, if it's a chromatic claw, you care about the claw itself because you want to use it for leveling. So we're gonna set it to claws, we're gonna set the rarity to only rare items, and we're gonna give it some nice background. Something fancy so we can instantly recognize it. So something like this, and there we go. So let's quite instantly spottable. We're gonna give it some big size too. And we only wanna, I don't know, we actually wanna see it on all levels. So now we'll see every single claw highlighted quite prominently. So there we go. You can obviously change the highlight to be uh, somewhat more recognizable. Oh, it looks like currency. Wait. That's okay. We are not quite done yet, there are still a few improvements we can do to optimize our leveling experience. Let's head back to simulate to check those out. So, let's generate some loot. Um, I want to find some specific items that match our small problem. Ah, there we go. Actually, those are fine. Right, so here you see a falling with three blue sockets. Now, fallings are quite valuable. Uh, well, not valuable, they're very useful while leveling. However, if you are leveling a claw character, you are likely gonna use red and green sockets, mostly. You don't really care much about blue sockets. Furthermore, you might not even have the intelligence requirement to equip this item. So, while highlighting, you'd like to highlight only items that meet a certain socket requirement. So, let's head back to Customize colors and links, and falling gear general. Now first of all you can disable some items you're completely not interested in to be falling, so we don't care at all about two-handed items, right? All this stuff. Some of it can't even be fallings, it's just a requirement that we have to fill here. Right, here we go. So we don't want to see any of those fallings at all. Now. To make it a tiny bit more strict, we only want to see four links that at least have those two colors. Either red red, red green, or green green. Now you won't see any four links with only three blue sockets for instance. And there it's gone, right? We're gonna do the same for three links. Let's disable all the items we don't want to use at all. Now you can uh, set it to some specific levels, uh, there we go, and you wanna only want to see three links that have at least red red, red green, or blue green, oh wait, sorry, red green and green green and green green. Now it's obviously up to you and up to your build, if you're playing a cast you might want to see uh, triple blue or blue blue red for your spell totem setup, so there's a lot of different options. Alright, so let's do some final adjustments. Uh, something I really recommend is changing the flask section a little bit. So to change the flask section, we open the flask uh, expander. And something I personally never use is uh, our hybrid flasks. So I'm going to disable those completely. And we only want to see flasks that appear and are uh, basically the flask progression. So those are flasks that are the best flask right now on this level. So we're gonna make them a tiny bit bigger and we are gonna set them to have a slightly stronger background. However, we don't care about any other flasks. There we go. Utility flasks can be found here, so you can, for instance, if you don't wanna see any ruby, sapphire and topaz flask, just disable them. Now, on the regular strictness, flasks fallings have this sound. Uh, many people dislike the sound. I personally find it fine. Uh, so there's two options to get rid of it, actually three. First of all, you can just disable the sound, sorry, every single time by default. Um, or you can go to style, sounds, find the leveling sound and simply set it to no sound. 
By doing this, uh, all items that had this leveling sound won't have it anymore. Right, uh, let's make some final polishing touches. So, uh, we're gonna head back to add customize and show hide rules. And usually while you're leveling, you don't wanna see any energy shield armors, at least at some point. So we're gonna go to hide items by armor type, and we're gonna disable any energy shield armors past some point. So by selecting only energy shield and maybe let's say evasion energy shield if you don't want to see them and setting it to affect this gear types to not see uh, we're setting this so that we can still see chromatic items and let's set the item level to something specific so above level 30 we won't see any energy shield and energy shield evasion body armors, gloves, boots, helmets, and shields. If you still want to see some of those, disable the ones that you don't, are not interested in hiding. Okay, that's actually, comp um, I'm gonna repeat it again. <laughs> so if you want to hide something, tag them here. So if you want to hide body armors, gloves, and helmets, then have the energy shield or energy shield evasion bases, enable them here. Only the enabled items here will be hidden, because we are using hide items by armor type. Right, I should actually do it. And let's add one final touch that I really really like. While leveling, I usually want to see currency a tiny bit bigger. So let's make all of those bigger. And we are also going to add some special stronger border to wisdom scrolls and to portal scrolls. Okay, and we are done. Now we've created our very customized, optimized leveling setup. Uh, this setup obviously only applies to leveling, so you'd still have to adjust the endgame setup. Uh, still, I recommend saving it, so go to save, uh, give it a name. My claw leveling filter, and click on save. Alternatively, you can use the uh, online saving feature. And remember the URL so that you can share it. In this specific case I'm gonna share this URL for this filter in the video description so that you can use this claw filter and adjust it to your different needs or use it as a reference. Right guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope um, it was helpful and happy hunting exiles!